Looks, looks like the player is about to lag for the break here. And we'd like to welcome everybody to the second annual Steinway Classic 2013. We are about to witness a great match between Tony Silent Assassin Robles and Earl the Pearl Strickland. This is a race to nine. This is a winner side match. And this is another inside pool and NYC grind co-production. I'm upstate out sitting in the booth. I'm waiting on one of the co-commentators to step in. Watch Earl with the initial break. Boy, Earl lunges his body right into it. Gets all the momentum in there. Four balls drifting towards the corner and just hangs. A couple things you're going to notice here. Um, He's just going to elect to play a safe. But Earl, excellent kicker. Kicks like Bruce Lee. Thing is, can he kick safe or just nudge the one and try to put the cue ball behind the eight? And he succeeds. Commentator, special guest. As soon as he gets set up, well known in the area, we call him Jimmy the Hair. Welcome aboard, Jimmy. What's up, everybody in the uh, internet land? How's everybody going over here? Hot Hot you match, huh? Doesn't get much better than this, huh? Oh yeah. Two of New York's finest now. Absolutely. Earl, welcome by the New Yorkers with open arms. Having fun at it, too. He's having a great time. Earl's so aggressive, you know. You, you give him anything that's even possible. Some people might think it's impossible. Earl just... Yeah, especially in his homeroom now. This is definitely his comfort zone. Yes. Good point. And Tony's also. Yeah, that's uh, true. Just, just because he steps out of Amsterdam, he plays here quite often. No, oh, that's true. He's yeah. familiar here. Looks like Earl is using the uh, the javelin, huh? Uh -huh. Stepped his game up. Mm -hmm. Right? Love that kill. <laughs> yeah, he constantly changes. I, I don't know how he does it, you know? It, it, you ever try using a different stick besides your own when you're used no, to it? I've been using mine for like 15 years. Yeah. I don't feel like relearning. The game's hard enough. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He switches around and still shoots straight. Oh, okay. Got himself in a little jam here. Now, with the rules here, he either has to call a pocket or call safe. So, uh, he's definitely going to play safe. Yeah. Better kick it hard enough to get it back down. Wow, he almost pocket the six ball. Okay. Well, this is a good opportunity over here. Sure. Five balls left on the table. Tony should be out. Well... I don't want to jinx him with the commentator's jinx, but he's supposed to be out by all means. Now, he's been working behind the scenes, too, you know, doing the board and doing the brackets. Mm -hmm. So he's got a lot of things on his head, but he's going to have to play. What would you like over here, going on the short side or coming out two rails to the other side? 
big. I like going to the short side between the eight and nine, and then shooting it in the left hand corner pocket. Right. Okay. Something like that. And try to get between the eight and nine on the bumper. Wow. But he's okay. I mean, as long as he can make game, he's got a natural position. You right, right. Back and forth, up and down, so to say. So Tony should be fine. He definitely wanted to get between the eight and nine, you know? Oh, yeah. Jimmy, the hair, is one hell of a player. I got news for you. Played in many tournaments throughout the New York area. It's fun. Definitely yeah. fun. Enjoy the competition. Definitely a good opponent, too. Wow. wow. I thought he was just going to go up and down. Yeah, yeah. Like oh, that. Oh, he's going to wind up in trouble. Wow. Safe Use that bridge 10? again, huh? Yeah, it's up behind the 10, I think. Yeah. Absolutely. Put him in jail without the bail. I don't know if he hit it hard enough. He did. Wow. Did he lock that's him nice. up tight? I don't know. That's, that's really good, though. I don't know. Oh, he's going to the short rail. Oh, it's a tough, tough way to return a safe over here now. He had two balls left on the table. Yeah, this you is imagine? tough. I've seen this happen where, you, where somebody wow. well, he missed the kick. But what I was going to say is I've seen it happen where somebody actually kicks the second ball and winds up with a roll and right, getting right. safe or gluing them back together again. Yeah, right. Just with two balls on the table, it's incredible this game. All right, first flood over here. There you go. Mr. Robles. So this is the under, undefeated side right now? Yes, this is a winner side match. Oh, okay. Yep. So I guess they're both playing well, huh? Do you know who Tony might have went through to get here? I, um, the brackets are online at the live stream forums, and I didn't pay attention to them. They've been running around, you know. Okay. Um, but this is one of those winner side matches that hasn't been played, so. Good. It's been put on a live stream. For all the viewers, you know, back home and wherever you might be with your device, we hope you're enjoying yourself. Uh, we know we are. Oh, yeah, I've been having fun here. Yeah, you, you're like... Oh, this is like... You, you might as well rent one of the back rooms over here and stay <laughs> here, man. This is kind of close, right? It's right in the area. There's still got, what do we got? Still like a week to go after uh, until the Ginky finishes? We got that challenge match coming up. Oh, that, on the yeah. 29th. Wow. Yeah. It's, it's like, like a pool festival. It's like a pool convention. Yeah, yeah it's beautiful. A little it's beautiful. baby derby city. Yeah. Well, this is what pool needs, you know. Oh, this is and, great. And the dress code helps a lot too. Oh yeah. Wow, it came up. Oh, just made a ball last second, huh? It's a tough shot right here. I don't even know if he could split the pocket over there with the ten there. That is tight. Yeah, he's looking at it real good. Might be lined up better for a combo than an extra shot, so. But either way, it's tough. Just want to take a few seconds here to mention some of Tony's sponsors and sponsors this tour. Of course, prior to the cues. Play NAPL.com, PoisonBilliards.com, PoolOnTheNet.com, Delta13.com, PoolCoach, BilliardPress.com, Pool.BZ, or I guess it's supposed to be Biz, QTable.com, Master Chalk, and Gotham City Technologies, which is actually Ron Mason. A1 for the shot. I think he's going to give that back. I'm not sure what he sees there. He does see it. Oh, wow. Well. Great shot. Beautiful. Never surprises me, this guy, you know? Just, oh, just a beautiful shot. Comes with it. Comes with the shot.
no need to do anything special and try to get perfect and straight in on the ball. He's, he's got a good angle to get back, put a six. He's going to have to spin it a little more, but he could have no problem. Seven lying right there in the pocket. Yeah. Everything looks really good. He's doing everything textbook right now. You play side to side and then go three rails back for the nine. Or do you play the eight in the corner and drop back a little bit? If you catch it thick, yeah, that's it. Whoa, whoa, Watch the speed. Wow, that was good. That was close. But <laughs> that was probably wow. the most extreme angle he can get on that eight ball. Wow. He caught that it's so thick. Wow. You can see the score in the upper left-hand corner, 1-0 in favor of Tony Robles. That, I believe, is about to change. As Earl is not going to let it get out of hand, ties this match 1-1. One, one. Great, great out. Yeah. Good statement to, to make it a competitive uh, race over here. Yeah. They've been having trouble racking the balls, uh, not only on this table, other tables also. Mm -hmm. And Tony set that rule into effect. If they need to rack a little higher, they can go at least one ball higher than the one ball. Oh, really? Yeah. But, you know, nobody wants to go there. No. You know. But that break, the break balls, we, we've been looking at the break balls, you know, when the corner balls come off and they go three rails and then fall into the corner. Right. They're coming up short. Okay. You know? So that's what made me think they were either rocking low or high. That's true, right? But uh, they've been trying to freeze them. It's hard to get on the spot. A lot of tables that I played on, you have to go sometimes like a half a ball to almost a ball. I mean, it's just weird like that. It gets Maybe. finicky sometimes. Yeah. We better crank up the table, Mike, sooner or later. Well, here's some... Uh, Carl's uh, chatter out there that everybody uh -huh. likes to hear. I love it. Yeah. It's very entertaining. Not making fun of Earl at all. I just like to hear his chatter. Those of you out there that are thinking about coming here and uh, actually watching some of these pros shoot, they will be back tomorrow for the second day. This is a three-day event unless they can uh, manage to uh, get it done earlier. They'll try to do it in two days, but the semifinals and the finals are a race to 15. So there's plenty of pool way ahead of us. We're only on day one. I mean, everybody's having a great time here. The players are enjoying the city. It's been a great, uh, great experience for everybody. Yeah, yeah. It's nice to see everybody at Steinway. Yeah, hopefully this will be an annual thing, you know, with three tournaments. Yeah, yes. Very good for school. Very good for uh, everybody all around. Oh yeah. The weather has been great here. We had such a great streak of weather here. It's been, it's been, everything just uh, fell into place beautifully. Like it's meant to be, you know? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah like that. I guess he's changing something for his break shot. I think he was using his shooting cue for his break. Now he's uh, pulling out an actual break cue. See if he gets different results from here. Strickland set the break here in game number three.
10 volt drops comes up on the spot. MB WSU if you need a three more or four more pitches of those brackets I'll gladly go over there and get them for you but I think we do have the latest ones that three looks like it goes but it is a little tricky against that four ball I mean he's got to land it's very precise it's tight though over the ball too, huh? Well, if this goes, usually in these situations, I like sometimes not trying to get perfect for the next shot because it's very, very hard. I'll just stop it and set up for a bank, which looks like it's dead. And, but he's, he's, he's go going around. Inside, yeah, wow. three inside rails. Wow, you did all right. You like playing for a bank, Shanna? Ah, uh, yeah, because sometimes it, it's easier just to like settle like right there for a bank than like trying to do something funny to to the ball to get precise. Not that I like it, but sometimes it's the better option, right? A lot of people, you know, they're not comfortable banks for the win sometimes, but you got to do it sometimes. Yeah, you got to do what you got to do. Absolutely. And it's in, it's in your own comfort zone, you know? Definitely. Said all he's got to do is go back and forth. He's a man of perfection. I'm a couple inches off. I killed the cue ball instead. Yeah. That bothers him, you know. I guess. Such a great player that he is. I guess he expects it to do what it's supposed to do for him. Oh, wow. Pocket speed let that one go in. Yeah. A little tricky over here. He's got to bear right. down on this. <laughs> I was complaining about Jeremy Sosie on the other side. I don't know. He, he finds things. Uh, he has to wait for Jeremy Sosie to finish. Oh, man. Uh-oh. Gonna blame yeah. Jeremy, maybe, now. This is a little out of his... Out of sync. I don't know what, what bothered him before that shot. Yeah, he was in that momentum yeah. here, you know. He was paddling away. Tony Robles breaks the tie break and now leaves this match two to one, correct? Yes, sir. It's unfortunate he had a good layout he ran. But next game. He's definitely got to bear down. He can't sleep on Tony. Steve Kurtz in the chat. Who's in the booth with Al? It's Jimmy the Hare.
Guys, if you haven't joined live stream news forums, please take a second and check it out. See if it's something you want to do. It's free to join. We'd love to have you aboard. We're at the starting phase, and it's really coming along nicely. Uh, we're working on different kind of editors and whatnot. Check it out. Show a little support. Join up. We don't ask for much. It's all about pool. Alright, Tony's right back to the same spot. He broke from previously. Not switching up at all. Predator Pro Am for event, by the way. Predator Q. We'll write that down. Oh, you got it all. Upstate Al's got it going on. We try. Forget about it. Forget about it. I'm over here now. There's the link for the live stream news forums right there that Steve Kurtz popped in the chat. We appreciate you taking a look and uh, sign up if you wish. Yeah, I like the shot. A little draw. Well, good shot. One went in like it had eyes. Oh, yeah. I hit it good. That was beautiful. What happened? Wow, he didn't call that? He might have... He might have called safety and pocketed the ball. Wow. I thought that was dead. I thought he was going for that. Look what Tony Robles does. Save himself behind the seven ball. It's just on the uh, the inside of this this three ball. He could, he could come out good here. Mm -hmm. I'm not leaving Earl a shot, but he didn't even uh -huh. do that. Okay, Earl, ball in hand. Who likes Earl with ball in hand from here? Uh -huh. the shirt that Errol is wearing, made by Focus Apparel. They are one of the sponsors for that challenge match. That's going to be fun. Yeah, you'll great, be here for that one, huh? Oh, yeah. yeah. Sure. Straight up the world, straight up the world. I'm so tired from being on the road. Straight up the rail. Wow. Went a little too far. Wow. Let the cue ball get away from him. Boy, that English took. Wow. And now he's faced with the bank. And he's all right. You know. Yeah, that actually looks all right. Yeah, yeah. No, didn't want that, but. Stop the rock right there and accept the long shot. Yeah. It's kind of tough to do a safety here. You can go behind the seven, but. I don't know if he's going to play six by the ten. Yeah, he's I don't like that. If that gets wired up, and you don't hide the person, you know what I mean? Yeah. But Earl did a good job of it. How about two rails? Kick behind the six, and the cue ball kickies into the ten ball. I like that. Yeah. It's a good one, yeah. I don't. I can't really tell how yeah. far off that ten ball is off the rail, but it looks like it could be a possibility. I will I'm not going to be surprised if Tony calls a 10 ball here. Oh, yeah, you got to try that. Oh, he's got his pogo stick. Tony's going to the air. Wow. Foul. Ball in hand to Earl. Tony on two? Uh just gave Earl a ball in hand. Didn't he miss the three ball? Yeah, yeah, he stuck, he stuck himself before, didn't he? Yeah. Earl doesn't matter. matter. Takes a 6 10. Earl Strickland. Now ties us up at Desmond. 2 2. We're rolling here at Steinway Billiards in Astoria, Queens, New York. Racing to nine. 
start off good. They struggled a little bit. Now, but I'm sure they gotta get it together right now. And they both are, you know, on the winner side. They want to continue that way. I guess uh, they're showing a lot of respect for each other. They're, just, you know, they're trying to be very careful. Both of them missed too many times in a race to nine already. Yeah. Genki used to say. Yeah, I you know. Race to nine, you missed more than two times in the set. That's too, too many. Yeah, definitely. Uh -huh. Well, three ball finds a home. The upper corner pocket. It's good control break. Might have just enough of that one where he can play safe either behind the nine or if he's got enough of it, he can bank that one up table more. Try to get it up around the ten or behind the ten and bring the cue ball back behind the nine seven. Use them as blockers. Right. He's got to watch his speed. Just like that. He didn't hit it enough. Or maybe he did. Can he thread the needle right through there, Jenny? That that was awfully, awfully thin. Thing of a hit, no. that's, that's that's I don't know. It's a tough hit if you could do that. But if Tony Tony could do it, he's the man. You gotta watch the cue ball. Yeah, you gotta watch that scratch in the corner. Oh, wow. I'm watching the shot. Left Mashamp is going to get to that two ball. Some traffic there on the uh, left hand side. Whoa. Trouble and oh, River City. Boy. Boy. Ooh. He can kick it. He's got if he's gonna hit it solid, he's gotta kick it with speed to bring the two ball out two rails and back up table here. Right. They really hit it flat. Yeah, you gotta hit it good. Oh wow. How about just make the two ball? Do you call that? I have no clue. Like, call that shot? Wow. Well even That's if he fun. even if he called safe and made the ball, Tony's option. To let him shoot again. That's correct, correct, yes. You know? So either way... But that was scary if you called that. <laughs> yeah. That was I just break the stick down and put it away wow. and walk out the door. So he calls us inside. Now he played the safe. That gets spotted. Yeah, the yeah. ball will come back up. It was a tough predicament here for Tony. I mean, he has a shot, but that's not an easy shot in that corner. It's a tough save, too, actually. Back cutting that right into the corner. Oh, wow. That's a tester. Shot's there if he wants to play oh, yeah. it. Yeah, it just it tempts people. I mean, I get tempted with that shot all the time. Sometimes it's, it's, too. Yeah, especially if, you, if the safe is hard, sometimes you just got to go for that shot. I think he's going for it. Not too much of the AG no. will over to it. I don't know how many mistakes they made in this game. Yeah. What I'm talking about. Yeah, I know. Showing their nerves, huh? And everybody was complaining that this table here is, you know, a bucket and... I don't know. Everybody's been saying that. Oh, yeah. I heard you talking about it also. Yeah. Right 
Yeah, new cloth, giant pockets, and I don't know. People are struggling. <laughs> I just can't figure it out. Okay, Earl played the full ball. Wound up safe in Tony. So Tony's option is either to make him shoot it again. And Tony says, go for it. It might be that. They just have so much respect for each other, all the players, that at these tables, they could, they, they could run five, six tracks that they get a little nervous. So maybe that's what it is, why they're, they might be missing more than often. Try to chat now, guy. It looks, guys. It looks like the slow mo feature was set by somebody that was sitting in the booth prior to us. Probably not on purpose. Just uh, hit it. I oh, hit that pretty good. I don't know if you can see that. Might have to mess say or do a one reel. I like going to one rail off the left uh, rail, you know, and going into it. Just got to watch. Right. Not to follow it in. The good thing about this shot is the five balls right there, so you can hit it with speed. You don't have to rocket it. That's right. Just hit it with enough speed to nudge the four in, just like that. And still oh, the two ball fell. That's too good. Wow. Wow. Yeah, sorry guys, I just checked the settings on the chat settings here, and somebody in the booth prior accidentally or accidentally on purpose hit that gear, so the chat is now freed up. Sorry about that. I noticed that uh, somebody was talking about the chat and moving every 30 seconds, and I kind of figured that might have been it. Thank you, Steve Kurtz. As Earl proceeds to walk through the park, doing his job here, and is, on, and is on the verge of going up three to two in the set. Come down a little too far, huh? Yeah. Still cuttable. Should have no problem. Almost over, cut. Wow. Three to two in favor of Earl Strickland. We're racing to nine. We're at Steinway Billiards in Queens, New York. Watching the great Earl Strickland versus Tony Robles of New York City. So far, it's nip and tuck, and both players had mistakes, so... Don't go away. Keep your snacks right next to you. This could pick up the pace. As you know, Earl likes to stay in the gear. If he makes a ball here, the next thing you know, there'll be three games gone. You'll be coming back and saying, hey, wait, how'd the score get that way? That's so they, right. That's right. they got to really uh, step up their game, both players, because either one could run away. Yeah. If they catch a gear, it could can, it can be a quick five, six racks to end it. This could be a quick Two one. Ten. Yeah, it's going to be a quick one, right? Wow, uh, are you banking here? The one's right there. You got to go for the Oh, bank. I thought the one was down there where the five is. Okay, yeah, yeah, you, you have to bank. Yeah, you got to bank right into the ten ball. Oh, 
Wow. Don't make it like that because they're all going to flip. And now Earl's got the combination. Look how quick things turn around. Looks like Earl Strickland was hot. Thinking Tony was going to make that shot. Instead, Earl does it. Unbelievable. Earl now leads by two games, four to two over Tony Robles. You know, on a regular basis, Tony makes that thing. Oh, yeah. That oh, setup. yeah, yeah. You know? Well, there's a lot on the line. This is a pretty big tournament, you know. It's a nice crowd over here watching. You're playing a legend. So, you know, you're going to think of a lot of things in interfering in the game, you know. Well, Tony's played him many a times before. True. But Tony's been working hard, you know, with his That's true. tours and definitely all the, all the events that he's got going on. And uh, I'm not making any excuses for him. But not that, 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 that Earl is, like, playing playing amazing right now, too. He's, he's having, having his own struggles, so, you know, it could turn around quick. That's why he's, you know, they got to, if someone catches a gear, it could be any of these players. Okay, the three ball found its home up in the corner as the nine ball finds the side pocket. Earl has a shot on the one ball. He's going to have to draw it back, though, and fire the two ball in the same corner pocket. Either that or elect to play a bank. Right. I don't think it's he can make a weird it. angle here. Yeah. I mean, knowing Earl, he'll probably like follow and tuck under the eight and get around the two somehow. Is that what you think, Jim? Yeah, yeah, he's got I'd creative like minds. He's got creative minds. I don't know, unless he might just sell for a bank. Who knows? He has a lot of options under his arsenal. Yeah, he's he's seen this half a million times or so. He's drawing back. Let's see what he does. Oh wow. He just touched that. Uh, unfortunately, just touched that eight. Uh, I still think he has a pocket. Pocket speed. Yeah. It's true. Yeah, it's true. It's, it made it a little tougher, though. Yeah, because the four ball lying yeah. down here at the lower yeah. end of the monitor. Yeah. That's where he's got to get back to. If he's got a pocket, he, he's definitely got good position for the four. Come right back past the oh. ten. He didn't make the two. See, now pocket speed, that pocket might have took it. Exactly. You know, Unfortunately, I, mean, I think he needed that speed to get to that four. That was the problem. Right. Having the four on the other side. Yeah. That's why he did put a little speed on that. Just unfortunate they just grazed the eight to get in that path. Man, this game can get brutal sometimes. Well, here's Tony's chance over here. Yeah, ball in hand. Yeah, he's got to take advantage, or he don't want to slip fast, slip away, no? Yeah, I know. Earl's uh, climbing, especially with that combination, you know? Oh, oh they yeah. add up real quick. Oh, yeah. Like you're gonna play that two in the side, huh? Float oh, yeah. down. Yes. Four and five into the same pocket. Draw back a little bit for the six. In the side. Needs that angle. He's got it perfect. Looks good. Looks everything looks good. I think he might be good with two to ten five. Yeah, right. Just float right up. Yeah. He might just have to solve for that seven ten combo. I'm not sure. Unless the seven goes. Well, it all depends. Uh, what position he gets on the six ball right now? That looks. Hmm. It's a little, a little tricky from this spot here. Other angle here. Well, yeah, he's, he's, yeah, Cardi, he's gonna have to turn the cue ball. Yeah. Over. He's got the angle to get to the other side, like he's pointing at right now. Yeah. But I, I think he was originally wanting that combo, but it's gonna be a change of plans here. Getting there, how's the speed? Mm -hmm. 
another angle. Oh wow. Uh, I think he just got in there, but it's a little a little tough there. You gotta pinch this. Yeah. You gotta watch the side pocket with the cue ball. You gotta pitch it. You don't let it float. Oh, uh, wow. Somebody disturbing her? Oh. Try to play to the inside. Boy, oh boy, did he get fortunate. He still has a pocket. Oh, nice recovery. He's amazing. Nice Doesn't matter. Recovery. Doesn't matter. He doesn't hole, even, he's got a fire. He doesn't even think about that shot. Oh, Strickland now taking a commanding lead, five to two over Tony Robles. Earl is past the halfway mark. Tony's got to start punching a gear here, or he will be visiting the B side of the chart. That's right. We want to thank some of the sponsors that made this possible: Steinway Billiards. Here in Astoria, Queens, first of all and foremost, Manny and family are adding 7,000 to this event. Kamui Tips, KamuiTips.com, Bank Shop Calculator, CNGGas.com. And this stream is coming to you live because it's being co produced between NYCGrind.com and InsightPool. Mag.com. We want to thank both of those organizations, especially Inside Pool, J.R. Calvert, putting this all together. Thank you, sir. And one more, North Coast Restorations. John, you know, the mechanics that works around the entire New York area and beyond. We don't have anything but a number for John right now. 845-612-9987. And don't forget, we got that challenge match coming up with Darren Appleton and uh, Jason Shaw. Wow, that's again Shane and Earl. Wow, that's going to be uh, what, what firepower on both ends. Absolutely, the wow. Battle of the Atlantic oh, is yeah. the title of it. Love Race it. to thirty. Wow, inside pool rocking out in New York City. They want to stay here and get a condominium. Will that be on a 10-foot or a regular? It's going to be foot. on this table, George Geeky Sensushi table. Oh, okay. Right there. Nice. Center stage. Center stage. Oh, yeah. Well deserved. Doesn't get much better than that, boy. A lot of firepower. Five to two, Earl Strickland will race into nine. Well, the two ball found its way around the table right into the side pocket. And he's got sight on the one. I don't know if he can cut it towards the side. I think he could bank this, like I said. Oh, no, he can't. Can he? Can he, like, get by the three with a bank? I don't know if it'll make it by the three. That's tight. How you boys doing here? All right, Mr. Alvin coming by to check on us. Well, that's tight. If he banks and gets that, he's, you know. I like watching Earl cut these right down the rail, right into the upper yeah, right hand corner I mean, pocket, I man. I don't, have the nerve. I don't have the nerve for that. He does it in practice so much, it's just amazing to watch him cut them straight down the rail. Oh, okay. Smart move. Yeah, that's true. He didn't want to take a chance there, especially at 5 2. He wants to increase that lead. They have a better view of what Tony's looking at. It's so hard to fade this, you know. You're down five, two, you know, and, and the guy jams up in a safe like this where yeah. you got to turn your cue ball into a rubber band, you know, oh. to try to get around things. I mean, he could jump half the nine and still have a piece of the one if he wants. 
frame. Yeah, this is a tough, tough predicament to be in right now. Let's see what he comes up with. That's what it looks like he's going to do. Uh, he's either jumping half at a nine. No, he didn't have to. It's not bad. I don't think it combo out. No, it's definitely not uh, not wired. No, no. There's no camera there, right? I don't no. think so, no. Oh. Look at the one ball find its way into the oh, corner. Oh boy. Didn't see that kind of look at that. Well, I don't think Tony's gonna let Errol shoot this one. No. Here's his chance. I mean, he's got to make things happen sooner or later. Though. Sooner, I would take right now. He's got to come with it. Yeah, this is very critical, this game right here. Hold on to your seats, folks. Carl Strickland's on the move. Elementary, we'll see. It's Mike D. Watson. Elementary, yeah. Oh, wow. Boy, that inside took. Wow. Extreme. Wow, that really grabbed. He looks perplexed himself. Well, he's not bad. He's just going to have to play the eight ball down the long rail. Yeah. You know, three rails I know. Back for A little it. change of plans, but he's okay. Even if he gets straight on it, you know, he can follow it down for the nine ball, you know, and shoot in the opposite corner down there. Oh, yeah. Wow. He's got enough speed on that. He's okay. He, yeah, he cuts these in. Oh, he loves these. Yeah. Touch him in his sleep. Wow. How was that? How straight was that? He never touched the rail. That was Until he got to the pocket. That was just... Walk in the park. That's it. Come back two rails and shoot the ten in the corner pocket. They should be okay. Wow. Come he on. Let's see a little bit. Oh, just got he, there. He's there. After playing the ball straight pool, he should be able to make this one. Oh, yeah. Well, Strickland nice out. Nice really out. extending his lead now. Six to two over Tony, a silent assassin. Robles. Well, both players had chances, and uh, yes, they're all opened up. First, and uh, started conquering. So nothing you can do but sit in the chair and enjoy Earl Strickland. Not that Tony's enjoying it right now. Oh no, he's such a gentleman player. He knows. The reason he's sitting there is because of the mistakes he made, not yeah. because of exactly. Earl shooting good. I and mean, when he had his opportunities up at the table, he just couldn't take advantage of it, you know? Yes. Trying to find that sweet spot. Yeah, it's been working right there from him. Side pockets and corner balls have been going in right. after going around the table. Well, that time, the two corner balls kiss each other right in the middle.
Shortly, we're going to have somebody run over to the uh, chart and talk to the tournament director and see what we have up next on the live stream. And we'll fill you in as we get that information. I wonder if he's trying to do a shot or a safety here. Well, he's, he's got the angle, but he's got to be yeah. careful. You know, he doesn't want to hit that five ball. I think he's trying to freeze it up on the eight. No, he just went for the shot. Wow. At the speed, that was a good shot. Just a little bit short, but I had a great idea there. That was really good. Yeah, the angle was there, you know, going with the running English. Oh, yeah. Took pretty good, is right. But nevertheless, Tony's back in a jam because of the speed. Yeah. I mean, he's got a pretty fairly easy safe. Yeah. He can try to either trap him up behind the four ball or trap him up behind the three ball, depending on which way he wants to go. I, I like tr cutting the two behind the three and bringing the cue ball up by the four. Let's see, Tony's just going to trap him up by the three, I believe. Leave it out. Mm. Oh. No, I think he's got him. Yeah. That is close, boy. Oh, he's going down like he sees it. Where is he? Oh, oh he was going for a while. As a matter of fact, Watch he hit it. Watch that 10 oh, ball. Wow. We might see a 2 7 10 combination here. Yeah, he's got to take this. I mean, things got to change. He's got to. He's got to make something happen here. Got to hit it, but you're gonna hit it. Yeah. You know, you don't want to hang the ten out. No, no. So if you're gonna hit it, you're gonna hit it. That's right. There's no no time to, to play another safety. I think you got to go for it right now. Not easy. Far from easy. No, but, no. But possible. Yes. You know. And you're right. He's got to go for it. Ah, what a there shot. You have it with authority. Great shot. Great All right, shot. so Tony puts a quick one on his side now, but still trails by three. Scores now six to three in favor of Royal Strickland. Don't forget, we got the Ginky Memorial coming up. Oh, cool. Man, this place is packed with pool. Man, challenge match this, before that. This reminds me of the old days. Just right. like nonstop pool. Yeah. This is great. Good revitalization of this. Locking the doors of the Golden Q and everybody's oh, staying in the back wow. and playing pool. Man. Is, everybody's just having a great time. It's like a dream come true for a lot of people here. Yeah, a lot of the locals really are enjoying this. Oh, you yeah. know, they're getting to meet the players and, and, you know, mingle with them when they're outside there yeah. sitting in the sun or just sitting out there getting some air. And the players are real friendly. Well, you know, Oh, yeah, they're, yeah. They've been enjoying themselves here a lot. They've been very comfortable here. Manny's been great, the whole family. Yeah. They, they yeah, very happy over here. It's been good. Matty's he, been doing quite a bit for pool, Jimmy. Wouldn't you agree? Yeah. Oh, yeah. He loves the game, and he's just well, he's doing anything in his power to make it succeed. Great with the players. Very friendly. You know, he's the real deal. What you see is what you get with Manny. Yeah, absolutely. Right up front. Comfortable. Players are very comfortable with him. Taking a break, I think I'm going to take a break too. 
So, all right, nice Jimmy, talking to you. Jimmy's going to take... All right, hey, Jim. It's a pleasure having you in the booth for once. Uh, yeah. And we, we look forward to having you yeah. back again within the next couple of minutes. You know, I'll we'll we'll talk, talk more this time. Yeah, don't get lost on us, will you? You got to get used no, to No, you're doing great. You're doing great. All right, guys. Jimmy? All right. All right, Jimmy the Harry is signing out of the booth. I'm staying in and waiting for these players to return. All right. We'll, we'll see good. if we can get another co-host in. Be good, Thank everybody. you. Bye-bye. Well, since we're on break, uh, let me let me mention uh, let me mention uh, some other sponsors: Movie Tips, Bank Shot Calculator, CNG Gas, Typecom, and this is a co-production. NYCGrind.com and InsidePoolMag.com. Couldn't do it without all these sponsors. Um, Jr. Uh, cannot. Emphasize it enough. If uh, folks would send some emails to some of these companies and let them know how much they appreciate their sponsorship and backing Inside Pool, so that Inside Pool can keep bringing these streams for free. I mean, we've seen world-class players in the World 14-1 tournament and world-class players now. In the Steinway, the second annual Steinway Classic, shoot them an email. Say, hey, man, takes only a couple of minutes, whatever it is. Thanks for supporting uh, Inside Pool and uh, live stream. It really helps. They like to hear from it. They like to hear from everybody, and uh, hopefully for all of us, they'll keep supporting uh, Inside Pool and live streaming. I know I've enjoyed it. I was here for a couple of days during the World 14 when I ran back home and come back down this morning. <clears throat> and I uh, sat home and watched this 14-1 uh, Worlds with uh, CNB, Corner uh, Market Bob. Uh, we watched whatever we could watch because we were always busy in the back, but I really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed the commentating by Mike Bad Stibina. Michael Fingers and uh, Sean Wilkie and Ralph Eckett at the time were in the booth and I'll tell you what, that was really enjoyable to listen to. Uh, you had three different points of view coming from three knowledgeable players. It was interesting. So everybody seems to be pitching in and coming together and this is the way we got to do it to step this game up. Score should be six to three. Tony Robles didn't put up his third scorecard yet. He just had a three ball combination. So it should be six to three. And uh, we'd like to thank also uh, Mr. Chop Liver himself. He calls himself Chop Liver or Steve Kurtz for doing such a great job and Heather Kurtz I mean you know if I forget somebody please <laughs> don't step on a guy in quicksand when he's down up to his neck well I guess that's the type of person Steve is <laughs> sorry Steve I meant to thank everybody and I think I did thank everybody um, but this far from over we got plenty of days of pool And in a couple of minutes, um, I'll run and get a few more pictures of the brackets. And we'll post them. I'll, I'll, well, I'll send them off to uh, some corner market Bob, who's working at the office, and he, he will get them up as soon as he can, if he is available. And we'll get the latest uh, updates on the brackets for you. We're trying to do the best we can with what we have. As Tony Robles looks like he's on his way back to the arena and we should be ready to go. Thanks Bob.
All right, Earl's been making a ball, and Tony switches right over there. Smart move. Get the speed down. See if we can get those corner balls moving. If not, towards the side pocket with the head wall. Let's see what it goes on here. Two ball into the corner. All right. I don't know if Tony plans on bringing the cue ball down by the four or behind the three five or just leaving it up top and rolling it. Soft roll, got the rail. Good safety, easy hit for Earl. Should be anyway. From here, it appears, appears to be a, an easy hit. He's going to whack at it. He's going to try to get the one out away from there, way away from there, or the cue ball separated from the front. Okay. Did a couple of things there. Hung the one up and broke up the 3 5. Thus far, opening up this table for Tony. Watch that side pocket. Wow. Starting with danger. Tony's got a good angle to come back across the table and shoot the five into the other corner pocket. Plus he left an angle to get back between the 10-9 so he can shoot the six into the upper left hand corner. And it should be after that, he should be perfect with natural angles off the six to get up to the seven. I'm going to go out on a limb here and say Tony's going to run this out, and we're going to see a score change six to four. Depends on how Tony feels. He can actually play the nine into the side pocket or just bring it down into the corner. Don't do anything fancy. Just like that. Play right into the corner pocket. Overran it. Just to, wow. Overran it a lot. He's getting out of the other corner pocket. But he should be okay. Throw it right back to the rail. Play the ten in, in the upper corner. And there you have it, the silent assassin making his move, trails in this match by two games, a score of 6-4 to four in favor of Earl Strickland, we're racing to nine.
Once again, a two ball finds the pocket. <laughs> and he's got an open shot at the one. Just draw this back a little bit and play the three into the side pocket. Tony's been at the table for a few minutes. Has no problem pocketing that one ball. But now he's got a little bit of a nifty problem here. He's either going to have to play some inside spin and just come straight back down for the four. Not too much. Good speed. Might see him go rail first, just spin up. But he does, he spins up for the five. Playing the five and a six into the same corner pocket, leaving an angle after he plays the six to get back across table for the seven. Tony picking up his pace. Played that perfect right out of the corner there. Had me fooled. Okay, Tony creeping up the ladder. Only trails by one now. Six to five in this race to nine. Earl Strickland in the lead. step out just a second folks to see if I can find out what we have lined up for the next stream match give me a second Gail Glazebrook looking at the chalks and it's going to give us a next stream match in a second. back to the table. Determined to keep Tony in his seat now. As this match progressed into a one game lead for Earl. Just goes to show you can't give any of these players any air.
Okay, great. We just been handed a note by the famous Gail Glazebrook. And the winner of George Rodriguez and Jeremy Sosi will play Max Eberly next on the stream table. The winner of George Rodriguez and Jeremy Sosi will play Max Eberly next on stream. This is a great match to sit back with your chips and salsa dips and just sit back and enjoy some great shooting. You know, I, I, Earl shakes his head and, <laughs> and still manages to get out. He overran that uh, eight ball but manages to get out. Earl Strickland <laughs> leaves this match 7-5 to five over Tony Robles. We're racing to nine. We're at Steinway Billiards. In the story of Queens, New York, you're watching the second annual Steinway Classic. Inside pool in New York City grind, putting this together along with some other sponsors. Kamui Tips, Bank Shot Calculator, CNGGas.com. And of course, North Coast Restorations, John and his crew, Josh, and whoever else is helping John out. I'm sorry I haven't met them yet. John's always um, hiring people. That are available. Um, we have a telephone number them, a telephone number for them, 845-612-9987 if you need a good mechanic. That's the man you want to see. There's all the tables here in Steinway, plus, plus other rooms, plenty of other rooms. Um, that's the man you want. And if you can't remember that, there is a post in the live stream news forums. Uh, under the marketplace, and you can find uh, pictures of John working on the uh, George Sansushi uh, memorial table that you're watching on stream, and his information there also. With that, back to the action. 7 to 5, Earl Strickland. Combination's on, the 2 eight's kinda, uh, is on, but Tony has to get back for the 2-8. Uh, he just took a glance at the bank, and the bank's on, too, because the 3 is sitting on that rail right there. He can elect to stop the cue ball or just throw it back a little bit if he can pocket the 2. Tony can use the eight to hold the cue ball right there. If he plans on banking this two. Just like that. And 
now we're going to see Tony open up for just a draw stroke. The cue ball on a string. Pull it back just a little bit. He doesn't have to get straight on this two. If he gets straight, he can play two rails back out. Got a good angle. You can see the five ball goes clean past the nine. Depends on uh, what corner Tony wants to play this five ball in. I just got confirmation that George Rodriguez won that match between uh, himself and Jeremy Sosi. So I guess we're going to see George Rodriguez and Max Eberle go at it on the live stream after this match here. See on the next table, Oscar Dominguez is in a match with uh, Mika Imminent. As Tony awaits one of the shots on the adjacent table. And Tony puts another beat up, 7 6. They're all still in the lead. Okay, we just got that match pulled from underneath our feet. We got Dennis Hatch and Ralph Eckett up next. Sorry about that, Bob, or anybody else sharing the next match. They just pulled it up from underneath our feet. It's Dennis Hatch and Ralph Eckett up next. Out of our control, folks. What can I say? They wanted to get that match uh, with Max and uh, George Rodriguez set right out. And keep the brackets moving while this game is in progress.
Looks like Tony's going for his jump cue. I don't know if he called the six, but we'll soon find out. In any case, fails to make the six if he did call it. Bringing Earl back to the table. It's a dangerous spot right now. Fortunate for uh, Tony that he didn't leave a shot for Earl. Nero can see the one ball. He's probably going to hook Tony behind the eight ball and bank the one back down this way here. Or play him to the other side of the one and try to hide him behind the two. One ball leaked out. One ball made that pocket pretty big. Looks like Tony can back cut this right into the side pocket. As long as he can hold the cue ball up table. Or he can roll the cue ball. He can play safe and roll the two and try to pin the cue ball behind the eight. I think he's going to try to back cut this, though. And I draw one rail off it. Nice shot. He's got other things he has to deal with because I don't think that, I don't believe the four passes the five. It might. Looks close. Looks like it does. Rail back out for the six. Try to come down the table, possibly to get straight and play the seven into the side pocket. Right in the area where he's pointing his cue stick, he wants to come down. Unless the seven does go up in this corner. Okay, it goes down here in the corner. Tony Robles is on the verge of tying this set up seven to seven. After being down, I believe at one point five to two and then six to two.
Seven to seven. Tony Robles tying up this match. Getting real interesting and hot in the kitchen. I'd like to also thank KamuiTips.com, Bankshot Calculator, CNGGas.com, North Coast Restorations, Table Mechanics, John and Crew, and of course, InsidePoolMag.com for making everything possible along with NYCGrind.com. Everybody pulling together to bring this live stream to you live from New York City, Astoria, Queens, and Steinway Billiards. The hottest room in America, if not the country right now, I mean the world. Get a chance, pass by, say hi to Manny, supports this game a lot. There's always a lot of players hanging around. If there's uh, action, you can find it. There you see the credits logo on the back of Tony's shirt there. And we're going to have a guest commentator step in the booth alongside Upstate Al. It's the one and only, the famous Rob Sires. Yeah, sometimes way, it might you either turn the mic around or you twist your head around at a 360 degree angle. <laughs> <laughs> Rob Sires in the here. 77. Oh. Oh, he was down at one point. Like that was a good year. Five to two. 1977. Yeah, yeah, that was a good year. I like rolling them bones too. The dice. 77. Well, you could only roll one seven. Yeah, but seven and seven repeatedly. Tony Robles and Earl Strickland. Pop a guy is in the booth, guys. A lot, of, a lot of great, a lot of great uh, players in this tournament. Uh-oh, we lost, we lost uh, the screen here. What happened? We lost our monitor somehow. Hopefully we're still up and streaming. Guys, if you can hear me, stand by. Live from Steinway Billiards in Queens. Power plug on the back of the monitor. New York City. There we go. Steve Kurtz with the L I G. O T J. Stevie. <laughs> You're in early tonight, huh, Stevie? Yeah, Stevie had to go. Skip. Hello, Skip. All right, Tony fails to hit the one ball. Not doing too much damage. Uh, can't tell if it's frozen. What's he going to do here? I'm thinking, I'm here, ball in hand, so I'm thinking maybe place it up top here and thin it and come to the side rail and underneath these two balls. Oh, okay, above the leave one ball. Leave them the same shot. Leave them the same shot. Yeah, thin the one ball and then bring the cue ball back down. Down to below the two. two. Seven, yeah. yeah. It's a nice shot. I was thinking maybe two rail it and try to get the one ball up here, you know, at the uh, top of the monitor, but that doesn't hide it. Two rail what, the one? Yeah. Or just try to uh -oh. float the cue ball. Try to float the cue ball down that way. I, that's what I think Earl's going to do. I like your shot better. I like my shot better because... Yeah. You, you, you're tying the balls up, and, and he's only he's got but so little room to work with for the kick. And and being close 7-7, seven, seven, you know. It, yeah, you, know, you got to really play the percentages. Yeah, nip and tuck. Yeah. Squeeze, like Gypsy used to tell me. Squeeze. Yeah. Let him become a lifetime member. Squeeze. Let him fall in the hole. He played your he shot. Played the two -way he played, played the two-way shot. He played your shot. I don't like that shot. I don't like that. I think he likes it, though. Yeah, I come on all right. Yeah. Come on all right. But I, I just think... Uh, Too risky. Yeah, yeah, you know what I mean? Could have left a wide open... Well, at least a wide open hit. 
you know, uh, on the object ball. I don't know if Tony has a little piece of this one. He's looking real hard. He's looking at two rails. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, we'll mute the mic next. Get the mic next time you fly <laughs> off, man. Probably on guard. It happens. If, if he gets behind this one, he can fall on the drink. He's got to watch. He's got to hit it pretty good. He sticks it. Yeah, wow. that's that's an, that's pretty he, nice. Shot. He's watching he, speed. He hit it like who done it. Uh, Earl might, might be able, able to spin to make, it. He might be able to make this. And and yeah. the good thing is the two balls right up there by the seven. Yeah, but you he's know, gonna he get that to... perfect in order to make that too. Well, he'll be floating that way. He's yeah, two yeah, balls. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah one natural. Yeah, big pocket too. He knows that he's going for it. Oh, oh. there's the angle. He made it. He made it exciting. He made it exciting for the yeah. fans. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fighting to get to the hill. Fingernails and complete fingers in the mud crawling up. It's becoming a mud match. Oh, Earl waves his hand like he's disgusted with it because he didn't play enough speed to get more or less straight into the side pocket with, with the uh, three ball so they can hold the rock. So now he's forced to. Uh, what do you think, Rob? Draw it by the eight, ten, you know and come these, back to real. You know, these, you know what he might do here? I mean, I can see him maybe cutting in the side and going two, three rails and landing flat. He, he's pulling rock back. What Rob is saying is go uh, cut the three into the side pocket and come out like two to three rails around the eight, ten. Land on the side, land, and, land on the rail. And land on the rail for the four. It's a good shot. And I've seen Earl pull that off. Yeah, yeah, he likes this shot. Yeah, he yeah, he likes good. to three-wheel that rock and let it go. He, he, he shoots this shot good, but I think uh, he he might be doing that. Yeah, that, that's the shot he's going for, I bet. He shoots the shot real good. Yeah. There it is. That's the shot. Exactly. The only thing he's got to speed is the problem. Oh, he hit it, he hit it good enough. Hit it good. He didn't have to get straight. He still has the four. Oh, Strickland getting back in line here. Yeah, yeah. Um, looks like it's going to be 8 7. 8 7, and Earl breaking. I like this winter breaks. I like the rules. Everything. You miss. Yeah, I like the rules. You, you yeah. got an option. You, yeah. you miss, leave a guy hooked. You got the option. Absolutely. You know I, mean? I, I love the rules. Love the rules. Takes out the luck factor, yeah. takes out that two way factor. I, I didn't mind so much the two-way shot, but I just don't like getting lucky and getting rewarded for luck. Right. You know what I mean? Right. I don't, I don't mind the two-way shot when you're playing it. You know what I mean? Right. Because we grew up playing that. You know what I mean? Yep. But uh, there's just this too many. This makes it interesting, though. These rules make yeah, it interesting. Yeah, just the way these rules, are, these rules are awesome. Awesome. Every pro event, get lucky. Every, every pro event should be played with these rules. I like it. I he that never one. touched the ten ball. Went right around the ten ball completely. Earl Strickland strutting his stuff. Let that cue ball loose just then. It's a hungry beast. He'll be 900 years old and he'll still be a hungry beast. He's got it in him. Yeah. He's really, he's really a nice guy too. He just he's so misunderstood. It's 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 Oh yeah, Earl Strike. So he's, he's he's such a good person. He really you is. have it. Earl reaching the hill. Eight to seven over Tony Robles. We're looking for a hilla hilla. You out there, Russ? That's Rob Sayers uh, calling out to somebody in the chat. Because when people watch the recording, they're not going to know who you were talking to. Say that again. 
You got that? I'm listening. Are you cranked up? Okay. What, you say? <laughs> what I'm saying is when you're calling out to the chat like yeah. you're going, Ross, Ross. When the people watch the recording later on on Ustream or YouTube channel, the Inside Pool YouTube channel, they wouldn't understand who you're calling out to. I said Russ. That's his name. Yeah, but you got to let, on the recording, let people know that you're calling out to somebody in the chat. Oh. Because it sounds like on the recording when you're calling me Russ. You know what I mean? They don't know who, the people on the recording don't know who you're trying to recall. What are they talking about? Okay, Earl Strickland on the hill. He's been making balls on the break. He's found the sweet spot. Uh-oh, he went extreme to the side. Well, he was doing good. He was, he was like six to eight I'm inches breaking, away from the I'm head I'm breaking, spot. I'm breaking a little bit off the center. I'm breaking the balls good. You know, I, I figured I might have figured something out the whole time that I was breaking the balls for I don't know how many years, right? Oh, I know. I, 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 I was breaking, and I felt like I was going to the center of the ball. And you know what? To my right is center. It's weird. To your right is center. Look at this. He's trapped 210. up here. 210. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 210 combination wow. into the side. All right, so now what do you do? Uh, you, 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 you bank it? No, no. Do you go all out, or you cut it right in? There's, there's two, there's, no, you got to duck here. You or you duck, duck here. You got to duck here. You bank the one up table and bring the cue ball behind these balls over here or you could thin the one and go one two three four rails and you have all and put the one over here you got I like that it. shot better going trying to duck the cue ball behind the eight yeah I think that's what he's gonna do yeah I like that better nice speed yeah he got too many balls there how to do you hit it you. too many balls there to help yeah you. okay he didn't get behind the eight but no nah, but he's all right he's all right I'm more than likely he'll have a shot it's not ball in hand it's tricky too you could scratch in the corner off the hit you know what I mean How about just moving the 10 out of the way if you're all strickling and give Tony ball in hand? Yeah, I mean, you, you, you're screwed anyway because because then he's going to lock you up. He's going to, he's going to, yeah, he's going to, he, he would have. Okay, Earl lucked in the one ball. It's Tony's decision whether to make him shoot or not. I can't see Tony letting him shoot with this carom coming up with the 10 going into the side pocket. This looks like a hill hill right from here. Tony Robles jacking up, going for the 10 ball in the side pocket, it's called, makes it, and there you have it folks, we're at a Hill Hill match between Great. Tony Robles and the Strickland man. The Pearl against the Silent Assassin. Yeah. What do you like folks? What do you like? I like the, what's the breaker. What's, what's the, what's the breaker? The breaker, the breaker, the breaker. <laughs> what's, uh, <laughs> what's the, what's the, uh... hey what's up Mark out there? Somebody said, say what's up to Mark. What's up, Mark? I don't know who you guys talk about, but uh, what do you guys like? What do you guys like? Huh? What's the chat room saying? The silent assassin or the pearl? Whatever he does, he's got to control his break. People rooting for Earl. What he said was, I like, I like Earl, Earl off. off. That's too funny. <laughs> Earl's been staying pretty calm. Yeah, I'm still hanging in. Still got one leg. This horse, he got one leg left. Rob on the B side is very dangerous. Very dangerous. There's a lot of players. A lot tough, of players. This was a, this was tough a field. tough field. This is 49 yeah. players, right? And about maybe. I swear, maybe like, I don't know, maybe 15 that, like, well, you, you got, top names. You got great players playing against each other. People have to be moved over. It's unreal. It's unreal how, how tough field. this field was. And I'm surprised uh, other players. Jim come. Brennan, you know Jim Brennan? Jim Brennan, yeah. What are you there doing, you Jimbo? Is saying hello to a few people in the chat. As Tony, see what he's got to do here, Rob. He's got to control. He's just got to. That's all he's got to worry about. Is, is exactly. It's just worry about. Now he's going to break from the same place he's been making balls from. 
control the break, no scratching, and make a ball. Tony breaks the ball's good. Yeah. Tony breaks the ball's good. You know, Hill Hill, he's got to come with it. Yeah. They're bringing back the final 16 tomorrow. Did I say something wrong? I mean, no. You're looking at me like, oh, you right. No, because I thought I, I thought you were going to add to that and say it's only going to be a two-day. That you know, the Finnegan was. No, no, no. It's going to be three days, man. Right? Yeah, because the semifinals and the finals are race to fifteen, right? Oh, is it? Mm. Race to wow, fifteen. That's, that's good. A lot of proof for the people. That's awesome. Yeah. And then you got that grudge match. Did you hear about that grudge What's match? Good? Larry Ross and the boys set up with the. Uh, Focus of Peril and... Uh, What's the grudge match? What's going on here? I haven't heard nothing. Shane, Scotch Double, Shane and Earl versus Darren Appleton and Jason Shore on this table, race to 30, 10 ball, no jumping balls allowed, alternate breaks. The 29th of August. What do you like? What do you like? I mean, I asked you. You know, I like all the players, man. But I, you know, I, I'm favoring Appleton and Shaw. And I got my reason. Benedict Arnold. <laughs> well, I, I, Benedict I don't Arnold. like Earl when he, I, I don't yeah, like Earl when he puts the heat on his partners. <laughs> we got a traitor. <laughs> Should we take his head off now or later? I mean, I'm, you know. I'm, I'm sticking, sorry. I'm sticking to my country. I'm sticking with my country. All right, let's see what we got here. No, I understand that, man. 6-9 is uh, in a tough, tough uh, spot. You know, if he gets right on the three here, he can go one, two rail, break that up, and get perfect on a four. If he gets dead right on this three ball here. Uh, see, I like getting here. How about how Angle about pulling the, the how about pulling the rock back off the three and then just jamming the four three rails and bringing the cue ball behind a six nine for a safe. No, no, you think he's going to go for he's, the complete he's run out? To run, he's trying to run out here. Maybe he's the nine's run, wired. He's we don't know he's about it. Draw right into it right now. He tried to straight pull. Okay, now that that didn't work, now don't what? you think he should play the safe? Stick the rock? No, he can't. He's not here. No? Yeah, he can. He can, but really? I'd rather make the four, make the five, get position on the six, and play safe on the six, like get here and thin it and come in. Yeah, here. that's a good shot, too. It's a good shot, too. You know? And you're kind of forcing your opponent to break it up more. Or, yeah. You know? Or slow roll it, it or, maybe or, or slow, sell out. it up. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. He might try, he might to, try go to go right into here. He's gonna try to break. See now, this is this is tricky. I don't like. He gets on like the other side of that nine, if right? If he misses it, or, or if he hits it and gets stuck on the nine, and you know what I mean? Yeah, and then he's on his defensive. Yeah, yeah that's, that's not cool. good. I might, I might even duck here. That's why I said duck on the four and just hold the rock right there and let Earl deal with it. I might, I might duck here. I might, I might. He might play your shot, Rob. Running he, into the nine, six, nine. Not running into it. Maybe just getting the cue ball close to that six and just feathering that six ball. And I like that shot. I really do like that shot. He looked at That's the nine to see if it was wired, too. I mean, he's really diagnosing everything on the table. He right might now. come. He, 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 you know what he can do here, too? He can make it and bounce out one rail, come thin the six ball, and go right here with the cue. See what I'm saying? No. Make the five. Make the five in the corner. Go one rail out. Yeah. Play the cue oh, ball, thin the six, and try the cue ball behind the seven. Seven, yeah. yeah. Looks like he's going. He, he's going to attempt to go into no, it. No, he's not. He's going to play that other shot. I told you. He's going to play the other shot. He's going to. That's what he's doing. Huh? Great minds yeah, think alike. Yeah, well, yeah, great minds. Don't pat yourself on the back, hey. man. <laughs> yeah, I got that. Somebody's got to. You ain't doing it. It's <laughs> <laughs> a good call. Good call. What Rob is saying is just feather the six ball and try to duck the cue ball behind the seven, blocking the path 
to the six. Yeah, that's exactly what he's doing. It's called a mousetrap. Ooh, the cheese. For the cheese. Sky used to say. Who you in the sky? Larry Lascari. Larry Lascari. Oh boy, Larry Lascari. He used to say, think stories, wrong, man. think wrong. Yes, he did. Many times. Mm, how do you hit it? Looks pretty good. I'm not sure if Earl has See, peace. This is, this is so perfect about these rules. Now the guy just can't whack at it and shit out. You know what I mean? Excuse me? We watch our French on here. Hey. You, you know, just because you're big, it you looks, know, you don't have to get tough with me. Rob, Rob, Rob's talking to Mike the Shane behind us. <laughs> He's a nice guy. He offered me five on 27. <laughs> looks like Earl, it looks like Earl has a piece of the six ball. If he's got a little piece of the six ball, I'm not certain, but he might try to tear him this nine into the side pocket. I don't know if he's got the outside of that six. Well, he might just lay up on the nine. If he's got enough he of the six ball. He might just lay up on the nine. He might just lay up on the nine. Yeah, good shot. Good huh? ball. Wow. And didn't leak the six ball out enough for Tony actually to kick it in the side pocket. Going off the opposite rail. It's not leaked out there enough. I think this is probably our best view right here right now. This is really precise. You know, he hits he hits the the upper side of that six ball, he can fall right into the drink. And then it's like, you know, good night Irene, wrap up the silverware, then it's over. Listen, I, I love Tony. Uh, oh, so do I, man. And, but uh, it looks like it's uh, handshaking time. I ain't giving up on Tony. I'm not quick, giving man. up on I'm just being a realist here. I mean, if you really look at the okay. percentages. Okay, yeah. I'm yeah. not wishing the guy bad or anything. I'm just... What happens if he just slow rolls it and catches the, the six square? Slow roll it how? Off of the, off of the uh, long rail. Are you not? Slow roll it just so the six lays up on the rail. No, he ain't got enough for that six. It's going to be, he's going to leave the guy, he's going to leave Earl straight in. He's only got half of the six bar. Not even. Yeah, that Not means he'll be half. cutting it this way towards right. the nine. He'll be cutting it this way, and the cue ball's gonna be right there, leading straight in. Dangerous. And and you're flirting with the side pocket. Yeah. Go two rails. Two rails. Okay. Way can he go? That's a scratch shot. I mean, he's got he's got to be real two careful. That's what I'm thinking. Uh, What's that? Uh, I'm thinking he he should go one rail off no. the long rail. No, Al. Why you don't think he has enough of that six to no. six to really hit it in the face? No. No, and plus he's got to come out here with English. Well, here's the shot. Tony Robles decides to play. He plays he's got to like kick that. it from behind. Three rails. I think he's going to kick this ball. Not right into it. Three rails. Like that. Wow. What a what hit. A, what an amazing, amazing did he get, hit. Did he, ah. No reward. No reward is right. What a, That was an awesome hit. But you know what? Funny things happen, man. Well, you know, it's like I guess over. you were right. You, you know, you, the realist was, uh, and the odds were there. Is this the winner side or loser side? Winner side match. Winner side match. And they both made their uh, equal mistakes. The Tony made maybe a few more, but uh, to make a hill hill match out of this, I think, is a really, really great feat. Tony to come back. Woo. Earl the Pearl. Tony goes and strikes his hand. Earl Strickland sends Tony Robles to the B side. 
Tony's far from done. Hey, it's been real. We got a great match coming up for you. What's next? Who's next? I announced it already. It is going to be Dennis Hatch and Ralph Eckett. Okay. I'll tell you what, uh, I'll tell you what, I, I'll give you a game, and I'll take Dennis. That's all? That's all. Okay. That's all. That's all. <laughs> Folks, we're going to be right back at you, Upstate Al, Rob Sayers, coming right back at Steinway you in a couple of minutes. At, at the second annual Steinway Classic 2013, we got to put that year in there because we're not going to remember that year 10 years from now. Trust me. I right, will be right back at you, folks. Very good. Yeah, yeah.